Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter in Rapid City, South Dakota. FlyfishSD.com. Today we're going to tie a CDC clink hammer. It's a variation on the traditional clink hammer. Uh, just something different to offer. Uh, it still floats really well. It's got a little kind of quivering movement from the CDC hackle on it that seems to kind of make it stand out a little bit, at least in the eyes of the fish. We've got the new Daiichi 1160 kind of the new official clink hammer hook cool looking hook and to start with some 70 denier thread and tie in I don't have to do a wire rib on this but it gives, gives the body some segmentation I'm going to do silver wire rib wrap down the hook shank. Take some black super fine dubbing. You can vary these body colors to you know mimic whatever you're tying. Black's a good just all around color in our neck of the woods so I tie a lot of black dries. But you could tie this more more in the traditional clean camera tan or uh, olive. I'm just going to build a tapered abdomen. Work our way up to the flat part of the hook shank. Dub up to about the midpoint on the flat part of the hook shank. A little excess dubbing there. We'll pick off, but then we'll start our wire rib. Tie that off, trim off the extra, and now for the post I'm going to use white CDC feathers. And I like a pretty good sized post so I'm going to use two or three feathers, matching up the ends. So I'll to clean these feathers out here at a couple. Once those tip ends are mated up, tie that in in the midpoint of the hook, flat part of the hook shank here. Trim off the excess CDC feather. We'll stand that up with a few wraps at the base of the feathers and then we'll post it just like a regular parachute post. Next we'll dub a thorax with some more of the super fine dubbing. Dub on either side of the CDC post. I finish up 
with the last bit of dubbing, bring my thread back around the post. And now we'll use some feathers that we've prepared in our magic tool. We'll break away for a second to show you how to use the magic tool. To prepare the CDC feathers for the CDC clean camera, I've got my magic tool. This is the smaller size, the smallest size uh, magic tool. I've got three black CDC feathers lined up on the top of the tool. Kind of align the stems with the center of the tool. Take a piece of wire. I'm going to push those stems down into the middle of the tool so that now I've got my fibers protruding from the top of the tool and slide the wire out. I'll take my clip, slide it along, grab those fibers inside the clip and I can let go with the clip and now I've got the fibers trapped I'll go and cut away the stems and the next thing I do is I just align those fibers with the edge of my finger and I also push them a little closer to the edge of the tool so there's only about a sixteenth of an inch of the fiber CDC fiber sticking out and now I can go back to tying the fly alright now that we've got our feathers in our magic tool clip we're gonna split our thread the way we'll do that is we take our bodkin, make sure the thread is flattened out, and we'll take and divide the thread in half with our bodkin. Zoom out just a little bit here. We'll take the clip, put it in between the split ends of thread, slide it off the clip, slide the CDC fibers off the clip so they're hanging on the thread in between the, the split thread pull in tight with our bobbin to keep the thread tension on those fibers I'm going to poke them a little closer to the edge of the split thread and then I'm going to spin my bobbin and eventually we'll end up with a nice CDC hackle. Once that's nice and tight and you can see all the fibers are spun in between the, the thread, we can take and wrap it just like you would a normal hackle. I usually wrap each wrap underneath the preceding wrap working down to the base of the post. Now that those fibers are wrapped on just like a hackle, we'll make a couple of wraps around the post underneath. You've got two options. You can whip finish right underneath the post, which is what I like to do, or you can whip finish at the eye. But I'm going to whip finish underneath the post. Just a three turn whip finish. Pull that tight, 
We'll trim off the excess thread. Now you've got your CDC hackle. You can take your bodkin and pick that out a little bit. Fibers will get caught on themselves when they're getting twisted up. So it doesn't hurt to pick that out a little bit. So there we have a CDC clink hammer. I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. You can find more videos at our website flyfishsd.com and you can also purchase some materials to tie these flies at flyfishsd.com. Thanks for watching.